Hey guys, Bob Morielli here with the Tuning School, and on today's Tech Tuesday video, we're going to show you in a real world example with the supercharged T7 Corvette why we think you need to have a Plex knock monitor right next to your wideband in your toolbox by the dyno. All right, welcome back. And uh, today we have the supercharged C7 Corvette here. And if you've ever tuned a supercharged C7 Corvette, you know exactly what I'm gonna start talking about. If you are a customer who owns a supercharged C7 Corvette, you might wanna close your ears because this is what your tuner probably doesn't wanna to talk to you about. But the reality is, as soon as you throw a blower on a C7, the tuner usually has to desensitize or turn off the knock sensors because they pick up a lot of false knock. Now, when we first did research and development on the supercharged C7s, we found that it was false knock but we had to pull cylinder heads to prove it. We had to change fuels to prove it. And in this case, this is a great example. This car came in, it had six degrees of timing in it at full throttle and it was pig rich because the previous tuner was obviously really worried about it really knocking because he didn't know when it was really knocking because all he had for a reference was false knock. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you the process that we went through with this vehicle and also how we hooked up the knock monitor to prove that it was knocking or not. And then also to show you when we had to stop because we knew it was really knocking. All right, guys, so we did our first baseline pull with this car. It had six and a half degrees of timing in it at full throttle from the previous tuner. Um, the knock sensors were going crazy because they did think it was getting false knock. Uh, so we started our process of working through it. So we started by removing some timing. We still saw knock in the scanner. We went and added some timing. We still saw knock in the scanner. We played with the fuel. We richened it up. We leaned it out. It didn't matter. It didn't seem to have a rhyme or reason. It just showed knock in the scanner. And I'm not talking about two degrees at full throttle. We're talking eight, 10, 12 degrees of knock retard, stuff that makes you cringe when you're tuning. All right, so we began by hooking up the Plex knock sensor that came with the unit. We took the factory knock sensor off. We screwed the, bolted the, the new Plex knock sensor into place and hooked it up to the harness to the Plex unit itself. So that then we were able to listen for knock as it happened and then also see it light up on the screen and watch the graph as any knock would occur. So when we finished our testing and we ended with 15 degrees of timing, we realized we couldn't go any further because we were starting to see knock. So it allowed us as a tuner to be um, careful, number one, and number two, we were able to see significant power gains and know that the car is going to leave here safe and that it's not really knocking. So we were able to desensitize the knock sensors just enough so that we saw no knock with 15 degrees in it and we felt confident in what we had done so that we wouldn't leave the car in a dangerous state for the customer. So that is why we believe that if you're ever planning on tuning a supercharged C7 or really a supercharged anything, you really should have a way of monitoring knock independently like this awesome Plex knock monitor system is.